Welcome to the UAC. When you make a game like Doom, you spend so much time playing it, and I know a lot of fans have spent a lot of time playing it, and to be able to step into the world is, is like the most exciting part of VR. We wanted to put the player here uh, and, and really build an experience that, that uh, you know, takes advantage of, of, the, of the key aspects of virtual reality. This time you're a cybernetically enhanced member of the UAC. Marty, tell us what the setup is. Yeah, so you, you actually play a, uh, a scientist, uh, Dr. Peters, who is uh, part of the BFG program, bringing the BFG to existence. Uh, in that facility, if you're familiar with that, that's a research facility that you, that you fight through and you get the BFG in. So the game starts there, and uh, you're being killed as, as Dr. Peters, and have your consciousness transferred to uh, kind of their, their backup uh, computer system, and uh, through the course of the game, you get to transfer that consciousness to different uh, kind of computer systems and, and technical vehicles. Most of the game is still about combat. We love combat. That's what Doom's all about. So you 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 get to you get to inhabit kind of this badass security robot uh, that that has all the guns and and all the kind of killing power that you would hope uh, a Doom game uh, lets you wield. We wanted to specifically take advantage of some of the opportunities that you have in VR. Being the Doom Marine and the Doom Slayer is just, it's such a focused experience. The Doom Slayer, he doesn't fix stuff. He doesn't play an engineer. He doesn't pick locks. He doesn't hack things. Um, but those are things that we thought were, were really cool opportunities for VR, and, and we wanted to do something different with VR. Are we going to see new locations, both on Mars and in Hell? Yes, we are. Much of the game takes place in existing locations, but you definitely explore new locations that were not seen in Doom 2016. All of them are very cool, but one of them in particular is, is, is really spectacular. It should be really fun for anybody who just wants a standalone VR experience. Doom itself is blisteringly fast. I mean, that's one of the core things about Doom. What are the challenges of bringing that kind of speed and that kind of intense nonstop action to VR? primary mechanism is teleportation. Uh, we also have what we're calling a, uh, a dash, uh, which is basically uh, cardinal movement on the pad. But if you've watched the trailer for Doom VFR, or you've played it in the demo booth, you see that the action is really fast because the teleportation isn't like a blink. It's, you know, we rush you through the world and we play into that for the glory kills from Doom 2016. You get a, if you get a demon in stagger mode, you can actually snap your teleportation to him and you rush forward and telefragging, you know, a lot of good glorious jibs and blood. Uh, so it's, it's every bit as fast. Uh, it's just different types of movement, but we're really architecting the gameplay to take advantage of that. Yeah, anybody who's played Doom knows that you got to get behind a pinky and shoot him in the butt to kill him. Um, and, and doing that in VR is great because you can actually teleport right behind him or dash around the back of him and shoot him, same with the shield guys that hold up the shield. So you, you just get a, a different tactic, um, but it's still, it's still just as fast paced. What are some of the challenges that you're now facing in bringing games in general to VR? The number one problem I think people face is, is frame rate because you need, you need 90 hertz to really make a smooth experience. Um, you know, luckily for us, id Tech is, is really well, well suited for that. Uh, it, it's frame rate. Uh, we, we have an uncompromising view on, on graphical quality. Uh, we're not going to compromise to look for, for VR. Um, so there's a lot of work that goes into that. Uh, a lot of R&D into, again, movement and, and just general gameplay type things uh, and, and how technology kind of touches the whole experience. It's really fast-paced. I, I really encourage anybody, you know, who, who wants a fast-paced combat experience, they, they really need to look at Doom. It's going to be different than a lot of the stuff they play in VR. Everybody at it is just thrilled to be bringing Doom uh, to, to VR. 